10.3.5, rationalizing a denominator. This is very important. We like to be polite when we do our maths. We don't like to be rude. Giving a fraction with an irrational denominator is basically rude in maths. So we don't want to do it. We want to be able to sort them out so that we never present irrational denominators. How easy is it? Very easy. Particularly with these first four. Let's have a look. What would I need to multiply root 3 by so that it was no longer irrational? Well, if I multiplied it by itself, by root 3, then I'd have root 3 by root 3 is 3. And that would be rational. But I can't just go ahead and multiply a denominator without doing the same thing to the numerator. Otherwise, the value of it would change. I want to have an equivalent expression. So multiply by root 3 over root 3. Now I've got 2 root 3 divided by 3. Nice, polite. 2 over root 3, ugly, nasty, rude fraction. 2 root 3 over 3, beautiful. Love to work with it. Let's have a look again at the next one. We have 3 root 2 over root 5. I want to rationalize the denominator, so I'm going to multiply by root 5. Must do the same thing to the numerator if I want to maintain an equivalent fraction. 3 by root 2 by root 5. That's 3 root 10. Root 5 by root 5 is 5. Done. Let's forget about the fancy changing colors here. Oh, this one here we can do a slightly different way, can't we? You'll notice root 2 and root 6. 2 is a factor of 6. So I could write the numerator as 2. Root 3 times root 2 divided by 5 root 2. Ah, oh, those root 2s cancel, don't they? They go into each other once. So it's 2 root 3 divided by 5. Last one. 1 minus root 3 divided by root 3. Again, if I multiply by root 3 on root 3, I will get rid of that irrational denominator. It's going to be root 3 by root 3 is just 3. Make sure you use the distributive law when you're multiplying the numerator. So root 3 by 1, root 3, negative root 3 by root 3, minus 3. So I end up with root 3, take away 3, divided by 3. That easy. What happens if I have a couple of these? Simplify the following. Well, just simplify each one first, then solve them like you normally would. So the first one there, get my red pen out again. I'm going to need to multiply by root 3 over root 3 to get a rational denominator. The second one by root 2 over root 2 to make that denominator rational. Let's go ahead and see what we get. I get root 3 over 3 plus root 2 over 2. Lowest common denominator is 6. How did I get to that? Well, the first fraction I had to multiply by 2 over 2. To get a denominator of 6, the second fraction, 2 by 3, gave me 6. So I'm going to multiply by 3 over 3, maintaining equivalence all the time. Now just simplify your answer. That's 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2, all divided by 6. Make sure that vinculum goes underneath the entire numerator. All right, one to go. You guess it. Slightly more difficult here. This is out of question 14. Part E, 3 divided by 1 take root 3. This time, if I just squared that bottom, if you imagine I just took 1 minus root 3, squared that denominator, what am I going to get? I'm going to get 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times root 3 plus root 3 squared. Squared. That would work for that bit. It worked for that bit, but look, I create another root 3 term. That's not what we want to do. What could we do to ensure that I don't end up with a term in the middle there, but I still square that 3? Some of you have already thought of it. Your favorite rule in maths, difference of 2 squares. If I multiply by 1 plus root 3 over 1 plus root 3, this is going to simplify to something beautiful. Oh, if it gives me the black pen, we'll be able to do it too. Numerator first, 3 by 1 is 3. 3 by root 3 is 3 root 3. On the bottom, I've got a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So that's first number squared minus the second number squared. 3 plus 3 root 3 over 1 take 3. 3 plus 3 root 3 over negative 2. We don't often like having a negative in the numerator, so let's just stick it out the front. 3 plus 3 root 3 over 2. You're done. It's that easy. Go have some fun. Use your favourite rule in maths.